imagine a kid being able to hold an ecosystem in their hand and be able to study all the factors that would affect that ecosystem. Our goal is to help support experimentation and use of different technologies to help kids hopefully make sense of their world in better ways. The Conquer Consortium is a nonprofit that's developing innovative technologies to help improve STEM learning and teaching. The INSPECT project is a three-year project to develop innovative curricula for high school students that's exploring how to use computational tools and scientific data to support students' learning in biology. We've been taking advantage of the maker movement and the fact that there's lots of different low-cost electronic components and parts available. We are giving students Internet of Things sensors that allow kids to measure phenomena such as the CO2 in the air or the temperature of water or the amount of light that's coming into a plant chamber and look at that data graphically. And so you can program logic into a data flow diagram that then helps you control the experiment and collect data along the way to study that. Data can be really scary for students, and I think that the more students have the opportunity to collect data and then see that data for themselves, they are demystifying what data in a table or a graph can look like and making it a lot more accessible. Students, by and large, love labs. They love working in groups, working with materials, designing their own labs and having a lot of agency in what they're doing. They always have so many questions and predictions about what's going to happen, and they love actually seeing their predictions come to fruition or not. Biology is a class that all high schoolers have to take. So we think the project really has the potential to broaden participation, engaging with hands-on building things and tinkering with equipment, analyzing the data that comes out of that system. We will be working with a broader set of teachers, integrating more computational thinking. We've been able to make improvements that help students do the things they want to do more quickly, more easily, and help it become a tool that is ever more powerful in the classroom. So much of science is learning that the world is full of data and full of things to observe. And whether or not you can come up with objective truths or inferences from that data, having the tools to critically evaluate that data or that observation, whether it's a newspaper article or a conversation you have, is a lifelong skill that I hope that students get from science class. So having more experience with tools and actually being able to imagine what you would even want to observe given any question. I think is really, really important.